What's up everybody? Today we got a little unboxing to do. I just picked up a Wearing Pro Professional Quality right there. Food Dehydrator. And um, it's one of the things I was always lacking. I really never did any dehydrating so I wanted to get into it. And it was for me, it worked out to be a good deal because I had an item that malfunction that we realized we actually could do without anyway. So we returned that item and it was actually $5 less. <laughs> so uh, I actually made out on the deal. So that's cool. I mean, let's see uh, what this baby's like here. All right, I'll try this in the camera because it's probably gonna be the most difficult thing the way they package these things. All right. Yep, instruction manual, warranty card, sounds good, and of course I'm probably not going to be able to do this without taking this off frame, so let's try this. Alright, you know what, I will take it out of the box and be right back. Alright, we're back, and here's the unit right here. Uh, it's, you know, a pretty decent unit I guess. And since this is a new skill for me, because I'm really not, uh, I never really dehydrated anything. I mean, I see my father do it a long time ago when I was young. You know, when you're a kid, you don't pay attention to things that you should. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I figured I'd start out small and I'd, uh, you know, go uh, bigger later on. Like, I, I'm a firm believer in redundancy anyway, so I'll get used to what I'm doing with this unit, and then down the line I'll pick myself up a, like a 9-tray Excalibur and keep this as a backup or just a secondary unit or whatever. Um, but, you know, a couple of things about the unit. For one, it, it has an off button. I know the old model actually didn't. You used to have to unplug the thing and plug it in when you wanted to start it. And then it has three different uh, heat settings and one fan only setting so you would just I'm not, I don't have it plugged in but you would have it on fan only and then there's a low medium and high um, now the drawback is and I guess I'm gonna have to figure this out with a thermometer or whatever um, but they really don't tell you the temperature of each it's a 640 watt unit and I'm assuming by reading all the books and uh, you know like the literature that's out there about dehydrating <coughs> excuse me um, the low setting is probably going to be about 110 degrees I'm assuming that the medium setting is going to be about a 130 degrees and maybe the high is going to be about 150 which is the three classifications that you mostly hear I guess from all the reading that I've been doing uh, but I'll test that with a thermometer down the line just to be on the safe side so I can know where I should be I mean I know one of the rules of thumb to dehydrating is not to rush the process. So, I mean, more than likely, and depending on what I'd be dehydrating, it's going to be either on medium or low, I'm assuming. Um, that being said, it's a five-tray system, as you can see here. It uh, looks like to be a self-contained uh, um, heating unit in the center, updraft design. And, um, well, let me show you one of the drawbacks out of the box. One of them is they only give you one fruit roll-up tray. I mean, this little flimsy thing, you think they could throw in, you know, four more so you have all five trays, but I guess you can do that. That's an upsell for them. You know how that works. But the biggest drawback I found out of the box is the grate. The grates are very, very big, um, you know, uh, spaces. So when you try to do things like peas and and corn and whatever, uh, as it dehydrates, you know, you can't really do that. It won't stay in the first place, and even if it did, it looks like it's just going to fall right down the unit. So I came up through research with a really cool fix for the problem, and in my next video, I'll show you what it is. But it's a 69 cent fix, at least that's what it was for me, per tray. And we'll see how it turns out. I think it's going to be really cool. I think it's going to work out perfectly. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, that being said, I mean, this is a new endeavor for me. So, you know, come along for the ride and, uh, and we'll uh, experience it together, I guess. All right. Until next time, until we get this thing started and uh, on the uh, next video, like I said, I'll show you that fix. Uh, 
I'll talk to you later. Later, YouTube.